All right, so let's just recap really quick. So we have our HUD widget here, which, as mentioned, we created a custom event, update health. Um, and all this really does is it updates the information that's going to go to our, um, our, our HUD. So we don't need this. We actually want to open up our HUD. So let's get rid of this. Let's go to UI. Let's open our HUD blueprint so we can see that. Oh, actually, that was our HUD blueprint. I'm sorry. We want to go back to our design review. It's just going to update this. So that was the uh, graph. And we're going to use our third-person character to walk over objects and update it. And so we added this little bit of blueprints code in here. Um, a couple of things we need to do is we need to create a variable that's going to update as we walk over our health pickup. So I'm just going to go to variables here, go to health, and um, hit enter. I'm going to convert this uh, to a public variable so that it shows up in our scene. Um, if you want to know if that works or not, uh, well, let's go back for a second. Hold on. Ooh, let's... Here we go. Um, if I compile and save this, and then we go back to Unreal and I select this guy, you'll see a default section uh, under details here. These are the details of our character. Just look, we're going to look for a section called default. Now you can see there's a health here. Uh, if I enter 100, it updates to 100. And that's what that little eye does. It makes it appear in here. Um, just a refresher. I know I mentioned that in previous tutorials. All right, so here we are back in here. We have a health variable. Um, and remember, we also created this function that we didn't do anything with called update player UI. So I'm going to grab this health. I'm going to start connecting these nodes. Um, remember, this player UI reference is used to, um, is used to ref refer to uh, the UI, right? Like we created it um, over here in our event graph, and this is essentially being used to what, so what kind of information we could send to the viewport. But we haven't done anything with it yet, and we are going to use it in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect this. And uh, remember, this update health here that we have dragged off here is actually connected to this update health event that we have here from previous tutorials. So let's continue to look on uh, how to connect all this. I'm going to actually select this health variable we have here. I'm going to hold control to get that. I'm just going to connect that here. Um, so it's going to a float value. And actually, maybe we should have just made health a float value. Yeah, let's just change this up. So I'm going to select this, change it from integer to float, and then change variable type. And Now, the thing with this um, is that it's going to be like not a whole number, like 100.5 or you know that's the thing with the floats but we can we can work on some math too to get that to work itself out now we have this update player ui function here right and if we go back here to our event graph now what we can do is just drag this out and we can link this to here and that's going to now create that chain um, from this function that updates the player ui function all right, now let's see if this does update the player's UI. Notice we have a health parameter here. And remember, it's also a float, so you're probably going to see that. So it says 0.0, .0 here. I don't think it's going to give us 0.0. .0. It's going to actually give us whatever we put on our guy here. So we have 100 here. So say his health starts off at 50, and I press play. Now you can see health starts at 50. So that's good. It's working. Um, let's go ahead and hit escape. Um, let's move on from here.